Hello guys, it's Shockwave King back here once again. And it's just tired of the video. Dragon Ball Super Chapters, whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh, Super, what happened? Like, seriously, what happened with the Mora arc? Because this arc is one of the best arcs in Super in general. I just like the Terminus Power. The Goku Black Arc was meh, but everybody likes the character. And the best thing that ever happened with Super is like Hit. And like Magetta, and that's pretty much the Universe 6 was the Universe 7 tournament. In my opinion, it's the best arc in Super. But even if that's the case, is it the Moro arc? Moro was just a sick character. He was a savage. He was a beast. He was a magical goat wizard. He was a animal. And then now, we'll get to what he is now. Well, let's start at the beginning. The beginning. I don't see, I still question, is this the whole bro, Super Brawly thing? How do you get taken up by a taser? But the Galactic Patrol shows up, takes Majin Buu, Goku and Vegeta get taken up by a taser, meet the Galactic Patrolsmen, and they go on an entire adventure, wait, during the entire time. We have Moro fighting the North Kai and the South Kai from the back of the old days doing the Buu Saga. And it's just, it, it was excellent. It was great. And I was enjoying and loving the Moro arc so far and then he showed up with the freezer shows and just like gotta go to get the dragon balls so we go in dynamic and goku versus vegeta versus moro for the first time they have taken a beating that they have never taken before they've been whooped before by physical attacks had their balls punched in they have everything else but they never have been beaten by a wizard magical wizard man like this before have all their attacks absorbed and deflected they, they never in my opinion they have never taken a beating like this like i could be wrong I could be, but the, the beating was so savage, was so excellent, it's just like, I just wanted more. Moro doing the entirety of Namek was a beast. Like, he became younger after absorbing Goku and Vegeta's energy, and like, the Namek is all fusing together. Like, this time we're ready, the Frieza saga would not happen again, and then Moro just blam! Oh, he died before he even had to see it. <laughs> he died before he even had a chance to see his face. Moro was a beast. The man was a savage. To the highest degree. Now he did break out the uh, the prisoners that was in imprisoned by the uh, by the Galactic Patrolman. To a certain degree, I question why, and to a certain degree, it's just like, all right, then, just uh, we, we, we're getting some troops together, and we we were uniting them together, all right. And they just like they really do hype up with these uh the death row prison uh, with these uh, Galactic Patrol prisoners that. All right, did we be able to bring back the other Z fighters? I was like, yeah, great, fantastic, let's do this. It's the good old days. Finally, Gohan, Piccolo, you know, Yamcha, Tien, Chatsu, Krillin. Everybody be able to have a role once again. So the sales cycle. No matter what you think about the Z, uh, the Earthlings, they tried their best to get the Cell Juniors. They tried their best to get Cell, and they tried their best to try to help out Gohan and get Cell. So it's just like finally. So. Vegeta goes off the train, and, and the, we will get into the whole Vegeta training thing, but uh, this is a quick summary, quick summary. But then we get to Moro is invading Earth. And, and that's where the excellence just started to get even better. Vegeta's still training, Goku's not done training with Mirus yet, and it was just like, yes, let, let's, let's go. We get, we get to see Gohan Piccolo, and then, just when we get those three, uh, three, three girls who fuse together to find uh, the, the the fusion to a fat woman, which I, I constantly compare to that Family Guy joke. Goku just shows up in one shot, everybody. Why? Like, what was the, even the point of having Krillin and everybody? The shit, Krillin still had like a legit fight, but Master Roshi just didn't do anything. Yamcha, T, he's just like, what's the point of even having him there if Goku's just gonna show up in one shot, everybody? And on top of that, it's even worse with Gohan, because Gohan and Piccolo are getting somewhere. Next thing you know, one, two shot about Goku is already over. But look, Moro, Moro is, he, he, he's powering him up. It is. Why? Why did you hype up the Z fighters returning like this just for they can get beaten? Now, you know, just for they have the uh, fight stolen from them by Goku, because, you know, Goku shows merchandise, they need that money. The only logical reason. And then. Now, imagine it was about that and that one guy who got a. Uh, I think I should put an image on the screen. That one guy who was like, I guess you could say, was the, the leader of the, the Galactic Patrol breakout prisoners. I guess you could say he was a leader of them to a certain degree. After Goku defeats him, and Goku goes 
incomplete Ultra Instinct. Now, I hate Ultra Instinct as a transformation. It's yet to be explained what Ultra Instinct is or how anybody can pretty much use it or how Roshi is somehow able to unlock a form of it. And even though Roshi is an old man who he had this the entire time, he said nothing about it. He could do this the entire time, he said nothing about it. Really, really, this entire. It, it, it's whatever, it's whatever. I hate, I hate the tournament power for a reason, but uh. Goku versus Moro. That, that that fight made me actually like Ocean Instinct. That fight was sick. That fight was savage. Goku and Vegeta playing punching each other in the gut, ruining their organs and everything. It was just like Moro still wanted more. Moro still had some had some to fuel in the tank. He was excellent. That that entire up to that moment, the Moro arc was wonderful, and then Goku goes down. And then the Z fight, then like, then we get a problem. And that is Android 17 and 18. Why are they there? Cause it just shows up out of nowhere. I, I could be wrong, but it just shows up out of nowhere. And just said, hey, look, we could, we could fight Moro. And some reason Moro just like, yeah, I could one or two shot them or backhand their heads off their bodies, but I could do that, but I, 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 I might need a little bit warm up. You know, Vegeta just to show up. He could be showing up, he could be not. It's just like, uh, uh, all right, then they're there, and and then like then like seventeen pull off a move straight out from Xenoverse. I don't care what anybody says. That is straight from Xenoverse, the first one. I don't know if it's in the sequel because I never played it, but I have seen footage of it. But that was straight out of Xenoverse. That move that seventeen pull out against Moro, and uh, and then Vegeta shows up after all that training, man. After all that training. You know, Vegeta shows up, and what happened, boys and girls? What happened? Nothing. Nothing is what happens. Yes. Do you believe that you don't? You believe that you have your time wasted? Then, then, boys and girls, boys and girls, better hold on to your britches. Cause I know if you see Red Super or not, but it's just Vegeta comes back. He started to beat Moro. He started to depower Moro. He started to take away. And he's just like, yeah, finally, finally. After 12,000 years, Vegeta, the, the Prince of All Saiyans, just might be able to take out a main villain. And then, the most abominable atrocity happens in all of Super. Moro decides... Not, my, problem, my problem is not the fact that Moro had a backup in the 7-3. Because, you know, 7-3 can already access his power, so that's, that's reasonable. But the fact that, number one, he eats 7-3. Since you didn't make, like, how was he even able to? Like, like when did he turn into Boo? When, when did he turn into Boo? He's able to eat seven three, and then his design goes from a sick goat with, with, with a clean, fresh cut to a creator character from Xenoverse one and two, just like that. Who thought that design was good? I did not sign up for a Xenoverse character, but it gets better, boys and girls. It gets better because 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 the arc is going so well. Vegeta gets one two shot. He's gone. Really? Are are you telling me that we don't waste about three to four months of super time, three to four months of manga time over Vegeta training, and he gets one shot after Moro get like, regains his power and somehow on top of that get a power increase, which is never explained how he get a power increase if if if, if seven three was just a backup. And 7-3 wasn't even strong. He was cannon fodder. He was cannon fodder. When compared to Goku and Vegeta, he was, he was trash. He was not in the same lead. Somehow Mario get a massive pour up. And Vegeta goes down. Thanks, Toro Taru. Thanks for wasting our time. The Z fighters go us down. Hey, look, Goku gets stabbed through his chest. It doesn't matter because Dende always shows up. He always shows up. D Dende's always there. And my whole major problem with the moral arc is the moral arc could have been so much more. The moral arc was going places. And then, like always, like any old dolly thing, like always, especially with Super, you gotta find some type of way to butch. Like, like to me at this moment, first, like me, like the whole moral situation, I don't really care like how it ends, because at this point, you know, butchered everything. There's like no point. And hey, look, guys, now, now, now Goku, now, now, now Goku's going full Ultra Instinct, so, so Vegeta's not gonna fight. Goku's not gonna fight. 
And then, like, when Goku's about to get killed, somehow 73 and 18, and somehow 17 18 steps in before Gohan does, but that is your father. Well, what was that, that stuff you say in the Boo Saga before Boo Hatch? And this time around, I just want to sit back and let it and watch and let it happen. He's <laughs> like, just that sick yelling to the sky. I guess that Gohan's on drugs now. I guess. It's just. I guess that Gohan took a vacation. Because some people like like Team Gohan. But I say the pinnacle of Gohan of all Gohans will always be Ultimate Gohan. Because that Gohan was a savage. That Gohan was a beast. Was an actually animal. He had the confidence, the power, and he wasn't foolishly arrogant like uh, like Team Gohan was. And Boo actually had to use some legit tactics to actually outsmart Gohan instead of just Gohan just saying, "You know, I, I could beat him up, Dad, but I want to make him suffer." You got him on life support. What are you wasting time for? And then you don't kill Goku. Great, idiot. But with this moral arc, man, it's just like, why is Goku there, man? Why is Piccolo there? Why is Gohan there? Because they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. And then, like, Vegeta, he's he, like, he got these extra powers and abilities. He, he, he didn't went to that, 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 that planet. I forgot the planet name called. He didn't went to the planet and got all these extra abilities. And still, to this date, he's doing nothing. Nothing. And then, like, uh, then, then one last thing. We got we got to have more Rican. We got Mirrors. He's just like, no, I'm I'm gonna come save the day, Goku. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pull off a One Piece with Doflamingo. I'm gonna do some major damage against Doflamingo, and now you can fight him. Why? Like, like why did he even need to absorb people anyway? And and, and how did like how was he able to even eat seven three? When did he turn into Majin Buu? When did this happen? See, we don't know exactly what M M Moro is, but when, when did this happen? He just can eat people this entire time, then eat Gohan then. Eat anybody. Eat Vegeta, like right now. Just eat him. If it's just that easy. Like, like, see, like, you don't even need 7-3. Just cripple Vegeta. No, 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 Goku was already on life support. Just eat Goku. And this just goes back to how, in my opinion, this entire arc was butchered and mutilated. It, it really was, and it just, it was going so well, and I was loving it, it's just like, yes, not, not, the super anime is what it is, but it's just like, you know, the manga is where it is, and it, it's just like with Boruto, but no, 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 they, 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 there's butchered super, and in, in my, in my opinion, like, no matter what they do after this, there's, there's no return for me, it's, it, it, it's just not, because it's just like, really, you, you, and it's just a fact, my major problem is, why did we have to waste all this time, why don't we just have more show up, Goku show up from training, and just, could it start off right then and there, because Vegeta's just there, just because, no, 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 we can't leave the Vegeta fans hanging, because, you know, Vegeta's still selling merchandise, but the final battle must always go to Goku, because, you know, who doesn't want an Ultra Instant Goku shirt, who doesn't doesn't want that. Goku sells always. Vegeta is just he's, he's, he's just somebody we just gotta entertain just because. But we know who makes the real money. It's, it's Goku who makes all the merchandise money. It, it's Goku guys. It's Goku. <sighs> and that's my major problem. I'm, I'm sick of the logic in my opinion in Dragon Ball and Super especially in the term of power. What the logic is. You know what? If, 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 he, if they're not the main character, now, it's, it's funny. It's funny how the show called Naruto had more side character interaction than the show called Dragon Ball Z. That's sad. Because even then, doing the Boo Saga, even though it came down to Goku once again, even though Gohan and Gotenks had his chance, even though you could say whatever you want about the Boo Saga and all of Dragon Ball. You did, never did feel like the other characters were loose, useless. You didn't feel like Vegeta training to become ascendant was wasted. In my opinion, it never was. But unlike that, Moro just he just powers up and just one, two, boom, boom, Vegeta's gone. So we get no perfect cell. No, no, no. Trunks don't get to face nobody. Now let's just what is Gotenks and, and Trunks? How come they haven't grown up yet? And it's been a few years. So so Gotenks haven't started growing out. He's cause like this still is take place in the ten year gap in between uh in between the Boo Saga and the, and the Z. So, Gotenks have yet to grow out his hair because he looked too much like his father. So, so that's yet to happen. Really? Tr Trunks is it? So like, like those characters are not going to do anything. They're not going to fuse it. Like, like you could have bring them out even to fight Tannen Father. Are, are you serious? It's like, what is the point of even watching this stuff anymore? If like, they're not even going to take this stuff seriously. 
and they're only just basing everything off of, in my opinion, if they sell merchandise, if they don't. Because literally, why don't we get to see TN do anything? Because Kenyan doesn't sell merchandise. How come it's always Goku Vegeta? Because no other characters sell merchandise. No matter how much the fan base love Gohan, I'm sorry, more Goku's t-shirts sells out more than Gohan's. You can never put Gohan in the face of a game and sell more copies than Kakarot. That's never happening. Because it sells. And that's all that happens now, because you know, it sells. Because that's what it's all about now, because it, cause it sells. It is just like, Tiro Koyama just sitting there and let it happen. I'm, I'm not going to touch on that Super Brawly. I made an entire video about that Super Brawly. But it's just, like, like, like seriously. It's just like, in like always, the fan base slop this garbage up like it's good. Always. <laughs> but hey guys. Oh, he said Goku did just once. He's he, he just not gonna straight up pound uh, 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 Moro. Momoro's gonna, gonna go use the extra hand he potentially have. And, and, and he's gonna draw Oh, he said Goku, even though the gems on his forehead is broken. And that shouldn't work like that unless you use some magical powers. So on top of that, why would Moro gain all this power and not use one inch of his magic anymore? Why? Why is Moro acting retarded like this? So you needed it earlier. He gets a power up, becomes younger. And Vegeta becomes like a and Vegeta and Goku becomes like a joke to him. Vegeta just get learn these new techniques that's able to hurt him. But you know, I could use some magic and get some mirrors, but mm, I'm gonna let him beat me up. You know, smack me around. Let me make some friends. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm just fed up and sick of this garbage because it's just like people like always like everything that happened a uh, term of power. The fan base of Dragon Ball Z. It's not only the most toxic, it's the most accepting of garbage. There's no other way to put it, in my opinion. There was, was a day, a time. Because I'm not going to act like, put like this. People say, oh, every fan base is toxic. No, it's just, every fan base have that niche group that might be cancerous. But it never it does the entire fan base. And Dragon Ball pre-Super and Battle of God was a lot better before it came back. And ten times better before Super showed up, but now nah, it's just it's gonna keep getting more and more cancerous. Next thing you know, Goku gonna turn Super Saiyan 12, and it just it would not even matter. Cause the fact that to this date we don't have an explanation on what Ocean Instinct properly is as a power up, and no one questioned that. Wow, that's amazing. Same thing with Brawly. If Brawly is no longer legendary, then where is this power coming from? And don't give me that retarded great up crap, cause that wouldn't make any sense. Because he has not trained with a legit pony in years. But somehow, he's just able to, to get 10 times stronger. R r really? You should just make him legendary. And just make... This is why I hate stupid people. And people still would hate on the OG Brawly for no apparent reason. I hate people. I, I, I really do. And it's just... My problem is the fan base is just going to accept... No matter what happens with Super, they're always going to accept it because it's some type of cool moment at the end. Because, you know, Dragon Ball is only about action. Dragon Ball never had any story in the first place. He never had any... Oh, but he, he had plot holes. Dragon Ball had plot holes. I mean, no, Dragon Ball Z had plot holes. Super had bullet holes and, uh, and RPG shrapnel in his body. That's not comparable in my opinion. Super's own life support when it comes to the story, because no one cares. It, it, it kill your time. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He even said himself, I don't have to do anything anymore. He don't care anymore, in my opinion. And he's just, I'm fed up with the crap, man. I can't take this garbage no more. I just have to make this video, because I'm probably the only person who actually feels like this with this whole entire art, because it doesn't make any sense. How much more time must we waste on this garbage? But like seriously, you you hype up Moro all these months and just like really goes nowhere. You waste our time with Vegeta and that also goes nowhere. Well, like, like how does that happen? Like why? Just this honestly why? Who thought that was a good idea to have Vegeta just become a sec just do nothing after you waste us all our time? Chapters upon chapters of him training. Oh, I gotta hurry up and rush to do it. I gotta hurry up and learn it. You don't gotta hurry up and learn nothing because you don't do anything with it. It's always a simple trend, in my opinion. All right, whether Vegeta is the runner up who gets beat up or not, Vegeta always have his time to shine, always, before it ends up with Goku versus Vegeta. Now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because, you know, Goku sell merchandise, man. Goku sell merchandise. That's all that matters. Goku sell merchandise. 
Uh, just because Goku sell merchandise, nothing else, nothing else. There, there's no, in my opinion, there's no other reason or rhyme or logic for this type of thinking, in my opinion, at all. For them to honestly think this is a good thing to do, and how the fan base just sit here and just accept this and just and just take it, just just, just sit there and take it, and it's just like why? But it is what it is. It is what it is. Because people gonna con continue to buy it. It's the same reason why in uh, Fighter Z. They can release five different Go versions of Gokus and put them in the game and no one complains. Why would you put Roshi in the game? Nobody actually really cared for that character. And what did Super do for the character? Potentially put him on life support and then, the oh, he couldn't do it. Oh, it's an emotional moment. My God. Why is Roshi even there over Yamcha? Are you serious? Over Yamcha? Really? And then people hate Yamcha because... No apparent reason. Just like those idiots kept on saying, Oh, Piccolo's, Piccolo's Gohan's real dad. How? When Goku spent more time with him than anybody else and was actually a father to him and actually tried to tease him. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's the same reason why people hate the character of Chi Chi. Oh, it's, it's stupid to try to give your child a proper education for you won't end up as a brain dead meathead as his father and actually have an opportunity to have a normal life. But no, it's all about action. All about action. Who cares? It, I'm not clueing the fact I oh, one of the biggest defining moments of why Piccolo is Gohan's real father is Piccolo was trying to tell Goku that to not let his son die against Sale and he wasn't like you, Goku. He wasn't like you. So you accept that Gohan's not a fighter back then. But throw Chi Chi completely under the bus just because Gohan chose to stop training by himself. Even Vegeta pointed it out and exposed him when it was uh, going against Bobby these men, minions. And how he just, he just chose to stop training for no reason and nobody was stopping him. Oh, but but he had school. But don't give him that schoolwork excuse. He can train go team with not no problems, but somehow it's schoolwork when it comes to him. Don't give him that. It's, it's just like it's excuse after excuse after excuse. And people just hate characters for no reason because one person make a video about it and it's just like a bunch of brain dead drones. You know, that, that, I share the exact same opinion. I, I also hate him because cause he's a bad character. Bad. <sighs> and some people say they should have kept Chi Chi as a fighter. No, she's not like Krillin. She's not like Tien. She would have got killed faster than anybody else. She's just, her, her time as an actual fighter was, was long gone. So, that's the way I see it in my personal opinion. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So, yeah, this is pretty much been my video about what happened with this entire art. Because it started out so well. And it's just, I didn't mean to turn this into a video about my problems with the overall fan base at Dragon Ball. And why is this not really into Dragon Ball like I used to be? Because Battle of Gods, Fukachino Elves, even though Fukachino Elves have his plot holes, even though, you know, Frieza could be true. And another thing, another thing, another thing with this whole, this whole moral situation. What is Frieza doing right now? And how come the Frieza, how come Frieza and the Galactic Patrolmen have never encountered each other? Maybe I missed a few chapters, but if the Galactic Patrol is around with Frieza right around, they should, what if Frieza would obliterate them by now? But like, just where's this? Where, where's the Galactic Patrol patrolling at? Where? And then like Frieza's just out there just doing nothing. When well, he could easily train for three weeks and get stronger than Oshinsen and Goku. Cause that's literally what happened. He went from a Frieza tier Mecha Frieza who fought Trunks all the way to going against a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, or AKA Super Saiyan Blue. So train for a few more months and you can beat him. Matter of fact, train for two years and you can beat him. Plot hole, bullet hole, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Because it doesn't address it sells merchandise, it doesn't matter. Because why, why, why do we need to think of Dragon Ball fans? And this is not everybody. This is not everybody. But in general, just they just sit there and just take it. And just, and just take a beating. He's like an abused victim. They just sit there and just take it. And it's just great. It's, it's fantastic. And it's just, really? And sick of this notion of how Dragon he's just like Dragon Dragon Ball is all about the action. Since when? We had about three episodes of Goku just running on a snake way. Oh that's right, not too many people watch the Blu-rays. And that's only just a season one Blu-ray. I'm probably the rare few perch people who grew up with Dragon Ball and who have not spent their entire life actually watching it. I know more about Dragon Ball from the games and like the, the community around it than I ever did watching the show. Just like I watched season one, I watched the movies. I mean, like I watched like a few episodes on the sites back in the early days. But truthfully, overall, I never really 
watch the episodes. Or was it maybe I might catch one or two episodes on the CW Kids back when I was showing like Kai or something, but truthfully I never really like watched an entire season of Dragon Ball. I was one of those fans who watched fights back to back in like around like fifth grade or so and just and just get off information in there and you know some YouTubers to help fill me in and things like it's the same way I got into One Piece or Hydro and Epos. No no Hydro Epo there was no Nobody to really help me get in that. It was, it was just it was just me. It was just uh, just me just out uh, downloading the series. What is this? <sighs> it is what it is. Cause I'm just sick of the, the the blatant acceptance of this garbage. Because no matter how this arc ends, people are gonna accept it. They're gonna think it's great and it's just particularly bland. It's fantastic. Could have either could have added in more on Fighter Z. He's a character, like seriously, just the old man, the early version, older than Xenoverse. Why is it more in Xenoverse? That's just free money. That's just not going nowhere. We're gonna add some canon fun. It's just like add some actual new characters. Cause I don't see how adding more would be that hard. Besides, that there's no animation to base it off of. That's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much. It. And then like with, another thing with Fighter Z, Gohan, I have an interest. The whole interest he did against Super Boo. But you make even this boring entry that doesn't meet. It is what it is. People are gonna accept it because you know it's, it's Dragon Ball, man. It's, 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 it's Dragon Ball. It's, 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 it's Dragon Ball. This is this is what happens when things get mainstream. I'm pretty sure this is great for Akira Koriyama and his family and everybody at Toei Animation. Oh, all this money. But 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 for a fan, in my personal opinion, no matter what happened in my life, I kind of hope I don't go mainstream. I hope I go the dark side of route where. I'm known, but not really mainstream, because I've seen what mainstream do to too many things, like with Transformers and Star Wars and everything else, to the Dragon Balls, and it's just it never nothing good comes from it. Or like a hundred e pod just it's known, but but not really everybody watch it, or they claim to watch it, they claim to be a fan, they don't keep up with the manga. And they just only watch the anime, and it's just and if you're anime only watching, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just barely, barely. It's just, it's just, it's just like we're, we're literally over like 800 chapters from that point. You might as well hop into the manga. Is this affect the whole anime thing? You show far behind that. That's my only problem. But if you only watch the anime, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just, I'm just really unfit with this stuff, man. I'm, I'm really in. I'm probably the only person who really feels like this. Can I talk about it with my friends and they also think that Moro looks like a Xenoverse character? I mean, when I first saw him, I'm not really a part of no communities. I really join the Reds. Should I bring up the Epo Reddit? But I don't really hang around there at all. I might dip in there like during the early days. Or like I, I post at one of my drawings or something. But aside from that, it's just, I'm not really a part of that community. But it's just. Now everybody else is calling him like a Xenoverse character. So I don't know who coined the phrase first. Cause I know when I first saw him, I was like, "That's a Xenoverse character." So it's just, well, whoever whoever gets it first gets it. But, but uh, I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm I'm really am. I'm I'm really am. Cause I'm sick of just how everybody just sits around and just take it. It's just, hey, look, this is where you're supposed to be, man. This, this, this is Dragon Ball. No, no, it's not. This is garbage. This is, this is no better than GT, really. At least, that's the thing. I can admit that Super Saiyan 4 makes no sense, but at least it was a cool transformation and a cool design and it had some good experts to it. Ultra Instinct has none of those things. Until the fight with Moro in the manga, I always hated the transformation. I didn't care for it. And I had top tier animations. The final fight you didn't care for. Cause what's the point of having in freezer? It's just this is why. And then the Z fighter get taken out one, two, one, two, boom, and it's what's the point. Well like like you got eight other people that are part of the team just for cannon fighter. And then with Super and the manga in the anime, like it's like universe ten, you couldn't let the other Z fighter go against him and Goku Z would have saved their strength from the main to your opponent. But why do that? Just have Goku Z the one shot up in the first two episodes. Cause you know they sell merchandise. We need to sell them Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta shirts and, and the figure arts. That's all that matters, right? The merchandise. And how much money you can make off of them. And there's nobody directing Dragon Ball. There's nobody who cares about Dragon Ball over there, in my opinion. Where they just they, they actually put together a competent story. It, just, uh, it, it is what it is. 
I don't know you guys thoughts about this guy I, I know for a fact that no nobody's gonna agree with me with this video but it's just it's just like I can't be the only person who's just like what what happened man like honestly what happened like like this is going so well so fantastic and then it just crashed and burned so severely and it's just the wrap this up it's not like this is a weekly manga so it's just I just want to know what they waste our time man Boom, you want to be boom, shock with king. Other guys, thoughts and opinions, and uh, peace.